something? Yes, I have a children's publishing company that's um, based on, it's a, a patented idea of mine that allows a child to um, hear a story first. And as they're hearing the story, they create the characters according to their own imagination. And what we've seen recently in society, you know, with uh, the um, bombardment of images, we are actually um, taking away more and more of this sort of critical individual capacity to create for themselves, you know. And so it's based on Bruno Bettelheim, some of the great, you know, psychologists and uh, authors, J.R.R. R. Tolkien. They, these uh, early, early children's writers from C.S. Lewis, uh, Chesterton, they were all very concerned about the impact of illustrations on a child's developing mind. And they felt that it would be far better that no illustrations than, than to have them. And that was really in the beginning when this was becoming a trend. Now we see this bombardment in computer and television. And what it's doing is slowly encroaching on, or very quickly, rapidly encroaching upon a child's own ability to interpret for themselves. And I see this so often teaching at the college level because my students can really have no grasp of an original idea except that which they've seen on TV or music. Everything is reactive as opposed to original. And I think that's one of the facets of consciousness and of individuation that we are, you know, we are destroying. Yeah, I really hear you on that. Tell me about the power 